So Thatcher's been topped. Fuck's sake. He was outnumbered. I couldn't reach him. Devil damn the man he was faced, but his heart was divided. It's hard to let go of the life you know best. Uh, my own idiot father liked to brag about when we went to purchase a ship of his own. I'll get a privateering contract, Charlie. Your old dad will be a captain. Drowned in a whiskey bottle before he ever left show. Right, Kenway. Been musing on this plan of yours. This observatory you're always going on about. How do we know it exists? We find a slave ship called the Princess. Aboard should be a man called Roberts. He can lead us to it. All them slavers work for the Royal African Company. Find one of their ships and start asking some questions. Clues down! Catch some wind! What's our course, Captain? We're looking for slave ships. Any that work for the Royal African Company. You don't mean to traffic human cargo now, do you? No, Jesus, Adam. You know me better than that. We're only after information. Looking to find where the princess docks in her spare time. The princess? Slave ship? Right. Blackbeard told me there's a good chance we'd find the sage aboard her. Captain, Vince just sunk a merchant schooner. Damn! Can't that animal stay the course we agreed to? Should be nearby, Captain. Larbert! Human flocks him in broad, Captain. Seems to be survived. Strike it, sir! Captain Fresh made for our sub, but a spear cast away! Shorten sail! Get off the squall! Muzzle and full mains! Let's move! Unfurl a lot! Man your sheets! There's some good meat for spearing here, Captain! Don't sing that slave of ship, She's Kenway. moved, Captain! This a slave of ship is running! Board. Damn fool! I'll get us in close. Ah! Hey! Hey! Ready to fire, Captain! Four sail! Four sail! Gale, sir. That is on the wind. Damn that Captain Vane! He's unloading everything he has! He'll sink it if he's not careful. We'll get closer. Fire! Damn these eyes! Ready fire! for fire, sir! Fire! Vince, dead in the water! 
We're taking this close. No back. Chase those bastards down, Ken. I'll murder the men who scope my sin. Remember what we are. Keep wide of the fort, Captain. on every inch of sail. Ready? Fire! Fire! Rip the yards off the wind! This captain claims the princess sails out of Kingston every few months. All right. We'll set a course. You made ash of my sails and rigging jackanapes. You owe me a share. Oh! But damn it, Vane! Oh, Charles, what a surly devil you are. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Oh, but it's my mandate to fuck with you, Charles. Oh. Lads! Ah, see, oh. the boys and I had a bit of counsel while you were wasting time with this slot. And, um, well, they figured I'd be a fitter captain than you reckless dogs. I'll cut you another cut, Tricer! Oh. <laughs> this one I figure I might sell for a tenner down in Kingston. But uh, with you two grog blossoms, I can't take any chances. You regret this day, Rackham. I regret most of them already. Tie them up!
Cast them off. I'll gut you, Jack Rackham! I'll open you up! I'll tear out your organs and slay your bloody loot with them! Stop your goddamn howling vein! There's no bloody use! Oh, well, well! The face of our good cat while he speaks, eh? Pray tell us, Captain, how to quit this predicament. And tell us what genius you have for sailing a boat with no sails and no rudder. Shut your gob! Oysters, you've ordered. You mad sap. This island's crawling with food. If only you'd care to look for it. Yeah, I am looking, louts. Found some just here. <laughs> don't! Don't come following now. Do you hear me? Don't come looking for me. Wretched fool. Go! 
Salt dogs with the fishermen and their dories, can we? This island's mine! Come at me and I'll cap you, bastard! It was your bloody imagination that landed us here, can we? I'll be damned if I let that mine make one more decision for me! Will you not talk to me, Vane? Are you fixed on this madness? Madness? <laughs> Nothing mad about a man fighting to survive, is there? I mean you no harm, you corker. Now let's work this out like gentlemen. Oh, God, I've got a bleeding headache on account of your jabbering. Now stay back and let me live in peace. I would if you stop filching the food I gather and the water I find. I'll stop nothing till you pay me back in blood. You was the reason we were out looking for slavers. And you was the reason Jack Rackham took my crew. I said not to follow! 
Jesus, you've lost your head, man. It's a fair exchange for finding these flintlocks and grenades. Listen, Vane, we can hunt with those guns. <laughs> and I made so. up and I'll have to kill you Vane! Bloody try! By all means! I see you coming sir! I see you plain and clear! Yeah. It's either you or me who's leaving this island alive, well sir! Because I'm not going to sail again in a world cursed by your ugly mug! Not dead yet! Here! I'll flush you out! I'll blow you to hell! Nancy boy, you only done half the fucking job. Fucking hell. Is this my reward for believing the best about men? For thinking that a bilge rat like you could muster up some fucking sense once in a while? 
Maybe Horner Gold was right. Maybe the world does need men of ambition to stop the likes of you from mucking it all up. <laughs> or maybe you just don't have the stones to live with no regrets. <laughs> don't save me a spot in hell, Shanker. I ain't coming soon. Stealing a fishing schooner single-handed. Damn canny, Captain. As is taking back my break from this pillock. Once again, I thank you both. This Billy Huff didn't last two months with your ship before he came limping back to Nassau. Took the pardon straight away. I had to, lads. That Rogers was on to me from the first. Hold your tongue, Rackham. So what now? Still chasing your elusive fortune? Aye, and I'm close. I've heard the sage is sailing out of Kingston on a ship called the Princess. Put your ambition to better use, Kenway. Find the sage with us. I've no stomach for you and your mystics, Mary. I want a taste of the good life. An easy life. No one honest has an easy life, Edward. And it's aching for one that causes the most pain. All right, Rackham. Back to retirement. The men do sorely lack a place to do their wenching and debauching. With a little coin encouragement, I could have the old place Bristol fashion and a flower run fit to obliterate a good tar proper like. Later. Later.
What do you want, Englishman? Edward Kenway. I'm here to warn you of danger. And I'm Welsh. You all look the same to me. Why should I need your warning? My life is all danger. I may have brought it on you. <laughs> this means you owe me. As it happens, I could use a man to help free some of my friends. Slaves, you mean? Brothers. Warriors. The hope of the Maroon. Doesn't sound like my business, mate. All I need is for you to mingle with your countrymen. Listen to hints for where my friends are held. Fine. I'll see what I can do.